drinking on the job and watching primetime reality shows and you paid for it. The state inspector general's office says several Office of General Service employees were disciplined for drinking alcohol, sleeping and watching TV on state time. One was even arrested for DWI, we're told, after he left work drunk. Capitol correspondent Pat Bailey read through the report. He joins us live now at the Capitol Bureau with details. Pat? Yeah, that's right, Liz. According to the Inspector General's report, there was, quote, lack supervision and a culture of permissiveness at the Office of General Services, Albany-based steam plant that's downtown here in Albany. Now, in all, six employees were disciplined for their actions that included drinking on the job, sleeping on the job, and one employee was said to have watched, quote, hours of Dancing with the Stars. Now, the report states that these actions all took place at the steam plant, this one downtown here, Albany, on Sheridan Avenue. Now, in one photo, you can see now former OGS employee Boyd Bonner first taking out a large antenna to hook up a TV to the back of his vehicle. In the next photo, Bonner is seen with his feet up watching presumably dancing with the stars, according to the report. Now, according to the inspector general's report, Bonner's supervisor walked past him and did nothing about it. Now, another OGS employee, Daniel Jackson, was said to have worked at the plant while under the influence of alcohol. The OGS report says his job responsibilities included maintaining gas-powered boilers. Now, the report said that Jackson, quote, exposed thousands to potential uh, to potential catastrophe by working while he was intoxicated. Jackson, on one occasion, was arrested for DWI at 4.45 in the afternoon after leaving work. The arrest report says that he told the officer he, quote, had a couple of beers at work before he left. Now, the big question that many have this afternoon, what disciplinary action was taken? Well, two of the six retired before that could happen, and the remaining four all kept their job. Now, they have since all paid fines totaling $27,000 and were subjected to courses on how to supervise, and some were put on probation. Even in the case of Mr. Jackson, he is now on a two-year probation and is subject to random sobriety tests while he is at work, Liz. Hey, Pat, we know the report just came out, but I wonder if it talked about how long all this had been going on. Well, in this uh, specific case here at the steam plant, we don't know, but we do know the arrest of Mr. Jackson for DWI was in 2011, March of 2011, so that may have prompted the investigation. However, many people may be able to remember back to 2009 when two other OGS employees were busted for weighing, smoking, and selling marijuana in an OGS garage. Those employees were later convicted of defrauding the government. In this specific case here at the steam plant, of course, we're going to follow it throughout the day, and we'll have much more on it coming up tonight at 5 and 6, Liz. Yeah, you'd think that maybe one case would have led the other case not to happen, but I guess that didn't work out that way. According to the Inspector General's report, they said that that 2009 report with the marijuana should have stopped uh, initial reports afterwards, possibly including this one. All right. Well, we'll look forward to much more tonight. Thanks, Pat Bailey.